I'm a man of substance. Because I'm the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. I am excellent. Because I am the workmanship of God in Christ Jesus. I confess. I'm a joint heir with Christ. The world is mine. I declare that all things but are mine. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you. I had a little case here in church. We were over in uh, another building then. And uh, there is two young fellows. They had been coming to church. They were planning on getting married. And uh, they started that before they give their hearts to Christ before they got born again. They had been coming, coming to church after that. And on one occasion, they heard me talk about these things. And uh, later on, they decided to talk with me. And I remember very well what the lady said. You see, they had been sleeping together, if you may, or if you didn't get that. Knowing each other, if that will come clearly enough. I mean, both of them have been having sex with each other. They were not married. They promised each other they were going to get married. But they had been doing this. And now they were in church and they were hearing me explain that it was wrong from the Bible. So they came to see me. And they said they didn't know that. The girl particularly said, she didn't know it was wrong. She thought that as long as they were planning on getting married, that was okay. So from that experience, I have learned that not everybody realizes that it's quite wrong. Because some can uh, be deceived by the same devil into thinking that as long as you have decided you're going to get married you have made promises to each other that you're going to get married and probably you have even told your parents you're going to get married then you're free to do what you may because your parents have accepted that you may get married when it's time so you can go ahead and do what you will. no a thousand times no they're not the same thing Sex is not, hear me, sex is not a proof of love. I said that on Wednesday night. It is not a proof of love. So you cannot say, if you love me, sleep with me. That's wrong. It's not true. It's not right. It's self-deceit. You cannot say, if you love me, sleep with me. You may say it anyway, but you're wrong. So you, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot sleep with somebody to whom you're not married as a sign of commitment. Because I remember she said to me, but um, when I said it was wrong, and she said, but I mean, you're not doing it with anybody else. See, you're not doing it with anybody else. It's just you and this fellow, you know, as a sign of your commitment. Are you, are you hearing me? Are you still there? You've all gone home now. Are you sure you're with me? I know nobody wants to turn to the right or the left now. You're straight. <laughs> Why don't you just find out who's sitting by your side? Come on now. I know if you are a lady and you have a lady on either side of you, you don't mind. 
if you're a guy and you have, you know, a brother on either side, you don't mind. But if there's a lady beside you, more, 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 oh. Oh. You're not going to look at her side now. Yeek. You can just do something. You can, if you are uncomfortable, call the usher to find you another chair. But you see, I'm telling you the truth. See, you, you, you cannot take that as a sign of commitment. You say, well, I don't do it with anybody else. I, I, I only just do it with him or I only do it with her. You cannot, you cannot afford that kind of life. Praise the Lord. You cannot afford that kind of life. Now, let me tell you something. You do not have sex with a lady or with a man. But the point is this. You cannot have sex with somebody because you love her. Hello? Some of you here, you're married and you're wondering, did you hear me? You did hear me. And I'll say it again. You cannot have sex with somebody because you love her. It's not right to have sex with someone just because you love him or just because you love her. It's not true. There's no way in the Bible that it suggests you can have sex with someone because you love him or because you love her. Praise the Lord. This looks like another church, another congregation already. I don't understand it now. Praise the Lord. I would like to see you nod if I'm right. Come on, if I'm right, just nod. Mm -hmm. I like to hear. You used to make that kind of noise when I preach on faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. I hope I'm not hitting you where it hurts. So you cannot have sex with somebody because you love him or because you love her. You cannot do that. It's not right. The only reason you have a right to have sex with someone is because you are married. Hello? Is that okay? See, if you have a home, let me use myself. If you come to my house and I open the door for you and, you know, you walk in and find your place, you know, you look for a room without asking me where can I sit or where can I sleep or any of such things. I mean, you just come in and I don't ask you any question. You just come in. It's because you belong there. Is that okay? And you can, you can, uh, at least, make yourself comfortable. You can go anywhere you choose. But if you don't belong there, and you come in, and you go ahead of me, that way, and that way, you open that door, I'll call the police. Before I call an angel. Praise God. See, the only reason you can come in like that is because you belong there. Is that okay? Now, when you sleep with someone, you are not playing with a body. You are entering an individual person. That's what you're doing. And that fellow, the lady, doesn't have a right to open the door. She doesn't have a right. She may say, come on, you can sleep with me. Well, it's, it's my body. 
I, I don't mind. Even if she says that, she's stupid, but she's not even right. She can't do it. See, the Bible talks about marrying and giving in marriage. The lady is given in marriage. There's not a lady in the world that can rise up and say, Well, I'm coming to marry you because you love me. From today, I'm your wife. Take me and do with me as you please. <laughs> There's no such thing. Why in the world do you think when, we, when they come here and we say, Who gives this bride in marriage? Because we can see from the book, we can see from the Bible, that the lady is given in marriage. She doesn't just say, well, you want to marry me? I love you too. I'm all yours. Take me. Praise the Lord.